Suddenly you have chest pain. Do you pass out and your coworkers or your family calls? Our 911 system, our NORCOM operators are amazing. And our medics are gonna get out there. They're gonna do an EKG right in the field. So an electrocardiogram. They know right away if you're having a heart attack. And they send that information right on over to Overlake Hospital. And that patient comes rolling through my doors. We know it's a heart attack and we call that team in and then they're in a matter of minutes. And you're off to, to our cardiac cath lab Getting that blood vessel in your heart that's blocked, you're getting it opened up in a matter of minutes. I think national standard is 90 minutes. This hospital shoots for less than 60. Compared to the rest of the country, our numbers are amazing. To have people that are having a heart attack and walk out of the hospital, it's one of the, the most rewarding things that we do. Well, this is the most successful hospital I've ever worked at in terms of metrics. But in the end, again, it's these people that really make the difference. And why I work here is not because of metrics and numbers, it's because of the people and the teamwork that we have. I can't do my job without nursing staff, without techs, without the EMS providers. I can't do my job and they can't do their job without me. So it's this community that we bring together, knowing that we all depend on each other, and then the patient is the, is the focus of all of that energy. Nobody plans to come to the emergency department, ever. There's a life you plan, and then there's a life that happens, and we're there for the life that happens. <laughs> the emergency department will see anything from something very minor on to, to a major trauma. We have a, a team of nurses and doctors. Our doctors are amazing. You know, they're, they're emergency room physicians. That is their specialty, which means they've learned just about everything there is to know about medicine. I'm always in, in awe, a little bit in awe of our doctors at the amount of skill that they need to have at a moment's notice. They are going to diagnose and treat a problem in a matter of seconds. Doing things in an efficient way is of the utmost importance in the emergency department. We want to figure out what's wrong and get you to where you need to be. We have labs that we do in the emergency department that come back in 120 seconds. We've taken everything in our emergency department and streamlined it. From the time you arrive till the time you go home, if you're gonna be discharged, we've tried to make that 150 minutes or less. One of the things that I realized during my 10-year career is that life is pretty fragile. People don't realize that they're you know, a millimeter away from getting really, really hurt or worse. And so the fact that we're there for them brings, I hope, a little bit of comfort to the community to say, listen, you, we don't want you here, we hope you don't need to come here, but we're here in case the worst does happen and we're going to take you through that process in a caring way. Hug your kids, call your mom. Life is, uh, is pretty amazing but it can't be short um, and to be able to help people through their grief, it's a privilege to be allowed in in those time of crisis. That's one of the most amazing and most difficult parts of my job. Our patients, we don't get to know them for very long, but you know, they, it, 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 it takes a piece of our heart every time. They're our community, they're our friends, they're our family, um, and we feel it too. When I first started working here, and I'm working alongside people that have been here for 30 and 40 years, you can tell that they've really invested their soul into the facilities, into the caring nature that has been the culture here for so long, and that really, invited me in and I feel like I can now be a part of that for future generations. We're there at the um, beginning. Every once in a while it's most amazing things, we'll deliver a baby. <laughs> That's incredible, you know, I mean, start a life and um, sometimes we're there at the end of life and if, if we can make that a little bit better for that person and for their family, um, I don't know, that's what keeps me going. I love Overlake. Its you know, mission is to serve its community, and um, I am that community. This is where my community gets its health care. This is where my family gets its health care. We have an amazing community, and we couldn't do it without them. We're here for the community, and the community's here for us.